our job is to house some of the most disturbed children the authorities don't know what to do with. Where are you going, Leanne? Tell them, tell them. What's that? Jamie Harrison and Leanne Dixon, always together. I need someone who's Jamie's key worker. Which brave soul wants to volunteer? I will. Hi, I'm Jen Schooler and you're watching The Fan Carpet. Tonight we're at Glasgow Film Festival for the UK premiere of Urban Hymn, which stars Shirley Henderson and Letitia Wright. Um, how does it feel to have your film premiere um, at Glasgow Film Festival this year? Well, we're thrilled. We're really happy and we're all together again and we're looking for a good night, so we're, we're, we're very pleased. How did the film first come into production? Because I know you've had 10 years off from making features. Um, how did you first get into this? Well, basically, same as always, you read a script. And at that point, I was like, I really want to make a small film and I really want to make something that I could get my teeth into, uh, acting-wise. So uh, when I read it, I, 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 I liked the fact that it was about three women. You know, the story was really about three women. I, I liked that it had music and I liked that it was about a kind of... Um, recognisable reality instead of being about space or superheroes or anything like that it was something that anybody could recognise it could be set in Glasgow quite easily um, How did you get into researching your character Shirley? Um, well I didn't really have very much time to, to research, <laughs> I, I was kind of uh, hired just, just about a week and a bit before so it was really just get on, knuckle down, learn the script and let it evolve as you're going so I kind of just had to use my imagination and things that I've documentaries I've seen, things that I could remember and it's a life story, you know, it's a feeling story, it's about loss and it's about what you do with that loss and, uh, your, you know, what's still calling you, what, what needs are still calling you in life, which is a kind of human thing beyond working in a care home, you can imagine a lot of stuff. So a little bit of just life's experience and what's in the script and then your imagination. How much singing did you get to do in the film at all? Uh, just, just choir stuff. We just did a, a, a few days of uh, all singing together and learning gorgeous songs. She's got a great songs. voice. She's got a great voice. <laughs> so it wasn't anything too new to, to you? Were you used to sort of singing? Oh yeah, I mean I, I don't sing in, in things very often, but it's not really about my singing. I'm just part of the choir. You don't really hear me singing. It's, um, you know, the young girl in it. She's, uh, it's, it's about her and what the, the music does for her. It's about uh, us helping her and uh, yeah, I enjoyed doing the music, I loved it, you know, it was good fun. Yeah. Um, so how did you both get into this, into your roles, um, preparing for your roles? Um, I, I made a playlist of music um, uh, and that's kind of how I got into it and we also had a week's rehearsal with Michael, was it a week? Yeah, it was yeah. a week. Um, and just going over it scene by scene so we knew exactly what we were doing on the day when we came to shoot it. For myself, I watched a lot of documentaries because I am nothing <laughs> like Jamie at all. Um, so I watched a lot of that. I'm sure you did as well. We did, a lot yeah. of documentaries. A lot of and yeah, a lot of dispatches, a lot of YouTube stuff about, you know, um, these lives of young girls that find themselves in these situations. Um, and we had a week's rehearsal and getting more into it is gradually on set every day just peeling back the character and really getting into the scenes so and really just having a good chemistry on set allowed us to get more into it every single day how did you all get on as a cast was it a fun place to work it was great and letitia lived with me and my mum when, yes. when, when we were shooting so that really that really helped um, our relationship um, yeah, everyone really, really got on. Yeah. Yeah. How did you get on with the singing part of your... Oh man, the singing part was hard for me because I'm not a singer. Um, and I literally had to come in and I was, I was pushed into it. They pushed me into a, a, a studio and told me to sing. So I literally had to just literally rely on God's grace to literally get a voice out because I didn't know what I was doing. I have no singing experience at all. So I tried my best. I worked hard and we perfected it. Michael, if he didn't like anything, he would say we, we should do it again. So I tried really hard on that. So it was a lot. It was a lot to do. Have you got any favourite stories from filming at all of a favourite day that you had? On the spot. Oh yeah, I've got a favourite day. of. Um, there's a bit where uh, uh, I, we're in prison and I put some batteries in a sock and um, I, I, I beat up some people with that. That was a lot of fun. No spoilers, no spoilers. Sorry. No, we, I mean, you know what's going to happen with socks and with batteries in a sock. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. For me, oh, I can't pick. I've done, I did so many days. Like, 
it's just a blur now, but I guess just chilling with these guys and just getting the work done. Have you either got anything in the pipeline at all? Uh, yeah, I uh, have got a film called Chubby Funny that uh, I filmed uh, in the sum, no, in not about October last year, uh, and that's uh, in post production with Harry Michelle and Augustus Prue. And for myself, I'm just reading scripts and getting the rack project. I'm Jen Schooler. Thanks for watching The Fan Carpet. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Even if it's just for a moment. I'll be standing in the right place.